She's funny. She cries. She laughs. She screams. She's unafraid. Likes to dig deep into the word. Finally, you can know the truth. She's risky, edgy, sometimes shocking. She won't fit into the Christian mold. A new breed of Christian and not here to tickle your ears. She is Danny Johnson. Welcome to the Spiritual Equipping Broadcast, where all people of all walks of life find practical biblical strategies to help you in every way. Now, here's Danny. Welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. It's Wednesday, which means we're going to be focusing on the spiritual side of life today, which honestly is my favorite thing to talk about. And why? I don't know. I don't know about you, but I know for me that when your spiritual life is completely whacked and out of order, everything else seems to be a complete mess as well. I'm super excited to talk to you about the message uh, that we're going to discuss today. Have you ever been in a situation where you needed like very specific instructions? Have you ever been in a situation where you were facing a huge problem or let's say a giant enemy, something has come against you and you really didn't know which way to turn, which way to go. It could be a financial issue. It could be a job related issue or even a decision you need to make in your marriage or with your children. You and I face literally, probably on a weekly basis, big decisions that we're needing to make that could change the course of our lives, whether it be positively or negatively, And sometimes we can have a lot of anxiety about, wow, which way do I turn? Which way do I go? Well, one of my favorite characters in the best success book that's ever been written is King David. King David, in the best success book ever written, by the way, is the Bible. Every single success book that's out there is simply just pulled principles from the Bible. And the Bible has time-tested wisdom and principles to help you succeed with your finances, with your business, your career, with your family, with your health, even with having a life that's filled with joy, even sex, man. It even gives you direction on sex. It's really a powerful read. If you haven't read the book cover to cover yet, I highly recommend that you do. And certainly don't read it from a religious mindset. Read it from the mindset that this is like your 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 power play book of having a successful life, because that's really what it is. Anyway, King David is one of my favorite ones to study. And, and I like to study people, especially successful successful people, people who've made an impact on other people's lives, on people's on nations, and, and has actually changed the course of history as a direct result of what their example is. And to me, like someone that's still being talked about, you know, 3,000 years after he died, I don't know, I guess he did a few good things in his lifetime, and he made some very costly mistakes as well. But if you want to be successful, and I heard this 25 years ago, if you want to succeed, then you want to study those who are successful. So unlike the Daily Danny Johnson show, this show is just completely set apart for a spiritual content. And so therefore, because it's a spiritual show, I'm going to start it off with prayer. I'm just going to bless you. So don't freak out. It's no big deal. And if you don't serve the same God I serve, that's fine. I'm sure you still want my God to bless you, (laughs) right? Do Do you have too much blessing in your life? Not. Okay, so let's pray. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you so much for this opportunity today to be able to share what you've shared with me. I thank you for how this message impacted me so much when you gave it to me, when I saw it just blaring at me uh, in your word. God, I pray for every man, woman, and child that is viewing and listening to this program. And God, I pray that you bless them in a mighty way, that you show yourself to be strong inside of their lives, that whatever it is that they're dealing with, whether it's a health decision, financial, in their business or their career, with the marriage, with the kids, Lord, even with moving across the country or something like that, big decisions, Lord, that we all seem to face from time to time in our life. God, I pray that you speak to this person directly today and that you make it so obvious that it's not a human talking to them, but that it is truly you speaking directly to them because you love them. You love all of us, Lord God. And I thank you uh, that you sent your son to die on a cross for us, to cover us, to redeem us, to love us, to reconcile us to you. And because of that, we're able to come before your throne of mercy and grace and be able to glean upon your wisdom today for our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Okay, so we're going to uh, start off in 2 Samuel chapter 5, and we're starting off on verse 19. So if you don't have your best success book uh, that has been written for you personally, go get it right now, and let's begin to read. Or if you're like so many of us, you've got your iPad, you've got the internet, you can just type that in to Google, and it's going to take you directly to where you want to go. So it's 2 Samuel 5. Verse 19. So it says, Then David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go up against the Philistines? Will you give them into my hand? And the Lord said to David, Go up, for I will certainly give the Philistines into your hand. Now, here's David. He's a young man. He had just finished uh, dealing with a lot of stuff, okay? He had a father in law who he was so devoted to, who he served, I mean, massively served. His father in law hated him because he was jealous of him. David was a handsome young man. David was a very effective young man. He was a warrior, and his reputation had grown so big, and his father-in-law turned on him and tried to kill him. So this is now after all of that, and David now has the kingdom for himself. He's now a king. He's still a young king, and he's endured a lot of things so far in his life, and he's fought against the Philistines many times. This is long after he fought against Goliath as a teenager. He came across... Goliath, and Goliath was defiling the people of Israel. He, Goliath was defiling the God of the God of Israel, the creator of the heavens and the earth. And David, as a, as a teenager, just said, I will not have it. You are defiling my God. I'm coming against you with the spirit of the most high God. He defeats this nine foot tall giant and, and becomes this, you know, great uh, pillar in history as a warrior and, and saves Israel from, from the Philistines. Now, the Philistines historically have kind of always been the arch enemy of Israel. And so now David had many, many victories God had given over and over and over again, given David his enemies into David's hands. The thing that I found that was so profound in this statement of him crying out to the Lord is he's going up against a familiar enemy. Do you have a familiar enemy in your life? Now you might be saying, I have no enemies, Danny. You do actually have an enemy in your life, whether you realize it or not, my friend. There is the serpent. Yes, the devil. Okay, Danny, I don't believe in that. You can believe whenever you want. However, I know, <laughs> I know the truth. There is a devil. There is demonic forces that are out there. And the demonic loves to come against the people of God. In fact, the demonic comes against the people of God. And that is what God uses to test our faith, to test to see which way we would go. Will we get closer to the Lord and lean on him or will we act in our own strength? And so here I want you to identify because we all have an enemy, all right? Whether that enemy is working through an individual or in this case, an enemy working through individuals, an entire nation called the Philistines, or the, the enemy could be working through your finances, through spreading poverty in through your mind, then producing habits of poverty in your life, which causes you to make really foolish financial decisions that then put you into absolute bondage. Or the enemy could be working through your job situation or even through the economy where you put your hope in an economy, the economy fails, and now you find yourself in a failing economy because you don't realize that, wait a second, I'm in control of my own economy. I'm in control of my own decisions. So again, the enemy likes to work through various different things. Work through your work life, your business life, your finances, through your marriage, Lord have mercy. <laughs> <sighs> In fact, in a couple of weeks, I'll be talking to you about that one. Uh, I've definitely had that one many, many times. So the fine, uh, so the marriage. So oftentimes, the enemy can can use a spouse uh, to come against you, fighting, quarreling, right? Just dishonor, disrespect, even adultery, even idolatry that seems to happen in marriage. I know I've been guilty of that one myself. Or it, the enemy can work through your children, okay? And and the the enemy working through your children also. Oh gosh, can cause so much fret and stress and so much worry and so much pain that can actually come upon you in that way. And, and so what I want to do today is I want you to identify the place in which perhaps the enemy is working against you.
And now we go back to that scripture and see what David did as an enemy had come against him. So this is the part that's profound to me. David had all these victories against the same enemy. Now, hold on a second. Look right there. The same enemy in the same form can come against you again and again. Even as one who you are committed to God, you love God, you are walking with God, you're holding on to his commandments, you are living thoroughly for him. Daily, you are desiring to be closer to him, meaning you have that kind of a committed life to him, just as David did. But look, it was the same path that the enemy used again and again and again to come against David. The name of that was the Philistines. So if you identify where the enemy comes against you, is it year after year it's through the finances? Is it year after year in your work life? Is it year after year with the marriage? Is it year after year with the kids? Is it year after year with your health? Because we know that even though we love God, even though we want to walk with him, even though we're absorbing him through his word, that the enemy can use the same strategy against us again and again until we wake up and we utilize the same strategy that David utilized. What does that mean? Does it mean that the enemy is going to stop coming against you? No, David had the Philistines continuously coming at him. Why? That's life, friend. That's life. So here's what David did. He inquired of the Lord. He inquired of the Lord. Even though, let's say last year, he defeated the Philistines. And again, who do the Philistines, what do the Philistines represent in your life? Financial problems, work problems, health problems, marriage problems, or kid problems? Which, which one of those problems does the, what, who is your Philistines in your life? Okay. So if you identify who your Philistines are, I want you to see, is this the most common Philistine that comes against you? All right. Now, how do we deal with it? How do we deal with it? Well, how did David deal with it? Even though he defeated it before again and again and again, he inquired of the Lord. That blows my mind. He did not get cocky. He knew who had authority over his life. He knew that even though God had given him victory over this enemy before, he did not assume that he would have victory again. Do you realize who really is large and in charge? When we continue after this next short break, we are gonna dive deeper into a powerful revelation of what is going to empower you to defeat and stand strong. This is Danny Johnson, we'll continue right after this. Don't just stand there, soak this up. It's joy, it's encouragement, it's insight to a better life and how to meet your obligations and overcome obstacles. The Danny Johnson Show. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Radio talk show host Danny Johnson in Kadwa, Haiti. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson and I'm here with Fida in her tiny little home. This home is the size of many people's closets in the United States of America. Now we're sitting on a bed, just a piece of sheet or plastic that these beautiful babies sleep on. They have nothing. This family has nothing. No water, no food, nothing. Won't you do something? The Bible says that if you ignore the cry of the poor, then you too will cry and be ignored. They're not asking for nice clothes. They're asking for food. That's it. Food, water. You can help. We want to build her a home. We want to bring water, clean, fresh water here. But we can't do it alone. We need you. Help us radically change a community. Go to kingsransom.org to make your donation to Kadwa Haiti. That's kingsransom.org. Okay, if you know me at all, I don't want you spending a penny more than you have to on anything. This is one of those things. If you're a business owner and take credit cards, you're paying too much unless you're working with my friend Kevin at Prestige Merchant Solutions. He's so confident that if he can't save you money, he'll pay you $100. Listen, if you're accepting payment by credit cards, check it out. 850-200-0709. That's 850-200-0709. Kevin guarantees 
Guarantees five star service. He guarantees he'll save you money and he'll pay you one hundred dollars if he can't. No risk, right? So what are you waiting for? Call today. It's quick to change your current service. Incredibly reliable. Twenty four seven support and payments are processed quickly. Tell him Danny sent you. There's nothing to lose. Call eight five zero two hundred o seven o nine. Eight five zero two hundred o seven o nine. Stop overpaying today. Is God calling you to the entertainment industry? Do you want to rise for him? Do you want to be an actor, model, singer, or dancer and shine for God? Do you think the world needs better role models? Do you want to be a star for the Most High God? Actors, models, and talent for Christ is coming to a city near you. A new generation of Christian performers is rising. Call 800-STAR-420 or go to amtcaudition.com. God gave you talent for a reason, and that is to shine for Him. So we are searching for actors, models, singers, and dancers. Go to amtcaudition.com to find out when and where the next free audition will be held. Entertainment is the best opportunity for Christians to change the world, and the time is now. Are you ready for that call? 800-STAR-420 or go to amtcaudition.com. That's actors, models, and talent for Christ. Register for your audition today. Danny Johnson here, and you're listening to The Danny Johnson Show with tens of thousands of people just like you. People thinking about what you think about, talking about what you talk about, and needing the same products and services you need. It's a place where like-minded consumers gather, savvy business owners, marketing directors, and responsive individuals making significant buying decisions. From consumer home goods and services to -to business-to-business products, people just like you needing the same things you need. They shouldn't be buying your product and service or doing business with your company. I'd love to help. To find out how to advertise on this show, email info at IntelliRep.com. That's I-N-F-O at I-N-T-E-L-E-R-E-P.com. Or call 251-928-9400. That's info at IntelliRep.com or 251-928-9400. If you're a Christian who's paying too much for health care, you're going to love MediShare. It's a nationwide community of believers who share each other's medical bills. It's affordable. Families average around $300 a month, and it's accepted by America's largest network of health providers. Plus, the health care law has a special provision for MediShare members, so you're exempt from any tax penalties. But here's the best part. MediShare is based on the timeless principles found in God's Word. You never have to pay for things that go against your beliefs. MediShare is healthcare the way God meant it to be. Learn how thousands of Christians can help you save on your health care. For your free information guide, call 855-90-BIBLE. Not available in Montana. MediShare, affordable biblical health care. Call 855-90-BIBLE. That's 855-90-BIBLE. We're back. Here's Danny Johnson. Welcome back to the Danny Johnson Show. We're talking about today struggles that you and I encounter, like an enemy that seems to be fighting against you and I, just as King David found himself in that same exact space. The same enemy that continued to challenge David's strength. Well, I want you to see something here because it's so powerful. When I was reading along in my Bible um, and I see King David asking in 2 Samuel chapter 5, asking and inquiring of the Lord and asking him, uh, what should I do? Which Should I go up against the Philistines or should I not go up against the Philistines? I love David's humility. And see, I believe that if you want to be successful, you need to study successful people. You need to study how they think. You need to study how they make decisions. You need to also study what came against them and how did they deal with the things that actually tried to oppress them or even kill them in this case, where David had many trying to kill him ever since he literally was a teenager going up against Goliath. So... With his response, which I thought was so profound, is that he did not assume 
that he would win again. And so oftentimes, friend, I know I've gotten myself in trouble on that one where, oh, okay, well, here's this issue. I know how to do it. I know what to do. I know exactly how it happened the last time and the strategy that I used last time against these financial challenges or the same strategy I used last time against the issue I have with my husband or with my sons or my daughters. I'll use that one again. We seem to get tools that we've put inside of our pocket, that we have kind of a, oh, knee-jerk reaction, bam, I know how to do this, without ever inquiring of the Lord. Lord, how do you want me to handle this? Lord, what is my next step? And so in studying King David, who's, hello, we're still talking about him 3,000 years after the guy died, okay? He obviously has made an impact on the world and still is making an impact. He's impacting my life even though he's dead, okay? So look, so he humbles himself, and that is so important for success. That's important in dealing with our problems. That's important with dealing with an enemy that comes against you and I, because there is always going to be an enemy that is going to come against you and I. Oh, 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 hold on one second here. (laughs) I know I might have just ruined your day, right? I'm sorry. I have to tell you the truth. Yes, an enemy. There's always going to be opposition. There's always going to be trials, always. And the sooner you and I can grow up and realize that that's part of life here on planet earth, we know that God says that he will not give us more than what we can handle. We know that. We know that he is our father who has the best in store for us. And it is the truth that the way we grow is through trials. We grow through opposition. That's how we get stronger. Even if you look at people who work out, right? Resistance is what they need to build muscle. That, that uh, person that's working out just for their better health or whether it is even for their uh, to strength training or whatever, they have to have resistance in order to strengthen the muscle. And it's the same for us. And our Father in heaven has us walk through challenges so that we can grow and mature, that we would persevere, that we would be made stronger and perfect and complete, lacking no thing. That's his desire for us. His desire is for us to succeed. It is for us to shine on a light on a hill for all the world to see that they will praise him for the good works they see you and I do. In order for those good works to be completed, my friend, we have got to go through trials. We have to go up against our enemy. We will be in battles and in some cases all out bloody wars. And guess what? We were designed for it. We are equipped for it. And we have our commander in chief. You must call upon him, which is what David did. David called upon him. He humbled himself each time he faced this army. Instead of pulling the last tool out of his tool shed and going, this worked last time. I think it should work this time. No, he knew the key to his success. And that was call upon the Lord. When we continue, we're going to look at another battle against the same exact enemy, the same exact Philistines, that same nation that came against him again. And we will see what happens and see, did the Lord give the same advice? Because does the Lord give the same advice every single time? We're about to find out. This is Danny Johnson. Stick with me because this next segment is going to be so powerful and change your life. Working to achieve happiness in life is not easy. Advice, life stories from callers on the air, solutions, a beacon of hope. Stay tuned for more of The Danny Johnson Show. Is God calling you to the entertainment industry? Do you want to rise for him? Do you want to be an actor, model, singer, or dancer and shine for God? Do you think the world needs better role models? 
Do you want to be a star for the Most High God? Actors, models, and talent for Christ is coming to a city near you. A new generation of Christian performers is rising. Call 800-STAR-420 or go to amtcaudition.com. God gave you talent for a reason, and that is to shine for Him. So we are searching for actors, models, singers, and dancers. Go to amtcaudition.com to find out when and where the next free audition will be held. Entertainment is the best opportunity for Christians to change the world, and the time is now. Are you ready for that call? 800-STAR-420 or go to amtcaudition.com. That's actors, models, and talent for Christ. Register for your audition today. Ever wondered how to advertise on The Danny Johnson Show with tens of thousands of people just like you listening, thinking about the things you do, talking about the things you do, and needing products and services you need? Savvy business owners and marketing directors advertise on The Danny Johnson Show. Advertise your products or services on The Danny Johnson Show. Email info at intellirep.com or call 251-928-9400. 251 928 Now, more of the Danny Johnson Show. This is Danny Johnson. Welcome to the Wednesday spiritual equipping portion of the week where we are spiritually equipping you and me <laughs> to stand stronger in the battles that we face, some of us on a daily basis, others of us weekly, monthly, yearly, whatever it is, we all deal with battles. So now we're diving into 2 Samuel 5 verse 22, and here's what it says. It says, now the Philistines came up against, uh, came up once again and spread themselves out in the valley of Rephaim. When David inquired of the Lord, he said, you shall not go directly up, circle around behind them and come at them in the front of the balsam tree. It shall be when you hear the sound of, the, of marching in the tops of the balsam trees, then you shall act promptly for then the Lord will have gone out before you, before you to strike the army of the Philistines. Verse 25, then David did so just as the Lord had commanded him and struck down the Philistines from Geba as far as Gezer. Look at this. So David has another, the same people, it's the same enemy. Okay, it's the same. It's not a different enemy. Okay, and you and I have that same thing. We have the same enemy that comes against us and sometimes through the same gate, if you will. The gate of the finances, the gate of the marriage, the gate of the job, the gate of the kids, the gate of the health. These seem to be different gates that, that the enemy likes to penetrate. And for some of us, it's the same gate every single time. Well, the most common enemy that came against David was the Philistines. So he succeeded in these battles before, but here God gave different advice this time. Okay, we, we looked at the beginning of the show, the advice that God had given David. Yes, I'm going to give it to your hands. Go for it. And this time God says, nope, go this way. So look, what, what is it about you and me? Me especially. I happen to be a creature of habit. Okay, I like routines. I like structures. I like everything being the same. It's terrible sometimes. It's not easy for everybody else to live with me in that set of scenarios. But look at how the Lord is here. He's showing that he knows what's in the mind of the enemy. He knows the plan of the enemy. And so therefore, it is so important for us to inquire and ask God, which direction do you want me to go in? Do you want me to go this way or this way? And here we see right here, David, where God gives specific advice, specific direction. And God wants to give you that kind of specific advice. He wants to give you that specific direction. You do not, my friend, want to lean on your own understanding. But in all your ways, you want to acknowledge him because he will direct your path. The thing also that is so profound about David here is that he knew that assuming was futile. Friend, I have to tell you something. I so often make assumptions. I do. I make so many assumptions and I act on those assumptions, which is stupid. Have you ever done that in your marriage? I have. Where I've assumed that a certain look on my husband's face is communicating something to me. Have you done that with your wife? You know, where you read her face and then you assume 
as I've assumed, ah, he's upset with me. I must have done something wrong. Right away, that's usually what, you know, I must have done something wrong, and I don't even know what it was that I did wrong, right? That's usually where, where I'm at. And so then I act on that assumption. And then I begin to wonder, okay, what did I do wrong? And then, and then I begin to react to feeling like I'm being criticized, even though he hasn't said anything. <laughs> or, I, or here's what happens. I, the thing starts to build up inside of me, and I'm like, all right, just let it out. Come on, go for it. Fire away the darts that you need to fire, because I know I'm in trouble. I've done something wrong. I've done something to upset you. And in all reality, he might be wrestling between him and God about something completely different. And now I've started a problem. And now I've, I've pushed forth an attitude that I should have never put forth. So friend, listen to me. King David shows us that with this beautiful high level of leadership that he has, what he did was he didn't assume. So in this case, my marriage, <laughs> that's definitely a gate that the enemy has loved to knock on those doors and try to stir up dissension and tension and ugh, all kinds of other craziness over the last 23 years that Hans and I have been together. And there's been many times where I have been duped by it, meaning I have fallen into that trap so many times. And I'm telling you, I, for year after year, it's like, I'm not falling in that trap again. I ain't going to do that again. And so with the leadership that I see here in 2 Samuel with, with King David— is he didn't assume anything, but he asked questions. He asked questions. He didn't respond on an assumption either. And we can get ourselves in huge trouble, friend. And I mean, when I say huge, I mean huge trouble with responding to our own assumptions. It can happen at work. It can happen. For example, I, I've heard this so many times where people hear the news and what's going on on what war over there. And, oh, no, that means I'm going to lose my job. That's an assumption. So then you respond to your own assumption. And now you're like, oh, what are we going to do? How are we going to put food on the table? Oh, no, what are we going to do with, with the, you know, the kids' college tuition? And how are we going to afford X, Y, and Z? And you begin to react on a Nothing but a thought, not a reality, but you react on a thought. And that's the thing, too, that I see here in David's um, example. He didn't freak out that the Philistines were coming against him again. He didn't freak out that the enemy was on attack. But what he did do is he just said, God, are you going to give me the Philistines into my hands? Which direction do you want me to go? How do you want me to handle this? He knew who was in charge of the Philistines. Do you know who is in charge of every single person on the planet? God. God is the only one that knows what's in the heart of the one who's coming against you. He's also the only one that knows everything that is in the mind and the mouth, as well as the plans and the future plans of that person at work who is tormenting you or the spouse or the kids or the friends of the kids that are, that are stirring your kids to do things that you know you don't want those kids to do. So God is the only one that has the answer. He's the only one that has the solution. He's the only one that can give you the strategic plan that's going to work. Quit leaning on your own. Quit going in the way that you've done in the past. But instead, friend, instead, be one who stands strong and consistently pressing into God. So I've got a question for you. Who do you seek in the midst of a trial? And who do you seek for strategy? Do you seek yourself? Do you seek a friend, a group of friends? Do you seek out no one? Do you just go, right? Check out. I don't know what to do. Is that what you do? Or do you seek out God? I know this. The quickest way to success is to seek him out. That's the quickest way to success, is to seek him out. He knows everything. He made you. He made you. You know, I was on a boat, not a boat, but a little canoe, uh, out in the middle of a lake in Washington many years ago. And I was sitting on that thing, and I remember stewing about something, I don't know, stupid. 
and I remember being really upset with God. I was really mad at him. And I remember looking up at him and saying, you're a total communist. You're a total control freak. You, 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 you want everyone to worship you. Everything's about you. And if we don't do everything your way, then wow, you know, you, you, you take us out. Why would I want to serve you? You're a full on dictator communist. Why in the world would I want to even love you? Everything is about you. And what was so wild is I'm screaming this out again. I'm laying in this canoe, beautiful river, and I'm just screaming up, saying a few other choice words. And some scales fell off of my eyes. Some scales fell off of my eyes. It's though in, in that very moment, God revealed a truth to me that I had believed in my heart. And he showed me that I was looking at God the Father through the pain that I had with the man who had adopted me when I was a baby, who had abused me, who had tormented me, who molested me, who controlled me, who abused drugs and abused my mom, my sisters, and myself. He showed me in that moment that my opinion of him was through the glasses, the filter of my opinion of my earthly father who had adopted me, who raised me. I began to weep, friend, and I realized, oh God, I really don't know you. I really want to know you better. Please forgive me for seeing you the way that I see my abuser. And please forgive me for not forgiving him faster. This is Danny Johnson. We're going to continue right after this. The Danny Johnson Show. In a world of broken promises, we're here to help you through life. The Danny Johnson Show. No excuses, no blaming, just real life. Stay tuned for more of The Danny Johnson Show. Okay, if you know me at all, I don't want you spending a penny more than you have to on anything. This is one of those things. If you're a business owner and take credit cards, you're paying too much unless you're working with my friend Kevin at Prestige Merchant Solutions. He's so confident that if he can't save you money, he'll pay you $100. Listen, if you're accepting payment by credit cards, check it out. 850-200-0709. That's 850-200-0709. Kevin guarantees five-star service. He guarantees he'll save you money and he'll pay you $100 if he can't. No risk, right? So what are you waiting for? Call today. It's quick to change your current service, incredibly reliable, 24-7 support, and payments are processed quickly. Tell him Danny sent you. There's nothing to lose. Call 850-200-0709. 850-200-0709. Stop overpaying today. Is God calling you to the entertainment industry? Do you want to rise for him? Do you want to be an actor, model, singer, or dancer and shine for God? Do you think the world needs better role models? Do you want to be a star for the Most High God? Actors, models, and talent for Christ is coming to a city near you. A new generation of Christian performers is rising. Call 800-STAR-420 or go to amtcaudition.com. God gave you talent for a reason, and that is to shine for Him. So we are searching for actors, models, singers, and dancers. Go to amtcaudition.com to find out when and where the next free audition will be held. Entertainment is is the best opportunity for Christians to change the world, and the time is now. Are you ready for that call? 800 star 420 or go to amtcaudition.com. That's actors, models, and talent for Christ. Register for your audition today. Helping you get a grip on your priorities and your focus. The Danny Johnson Show. Here's Danny Johnson. Do you realize that your life is not your own? Do you realize that your life is not your own? Sometimes we can feel so alone. Sometimes we can feel so lost, forsaken. Like, you know what I mean? Just, we feel like when we're going through a hard time that there's nobody that cares. There's no one that understands. There's no one that gets it. And the pain is so huge. And yet we don't have an answer. And yet we don't ask God to help. He made you. 
He formed you. He knitted you together with all the right parts when he knitted you together in your mother's womb. He, when he designed you, he had a beautiful plan in mind. He had a beautiful, beautiful design. And when he looked upon you, he says, man, that's good stuff. I'm happy that I made this one. Look, at, look what I made. He rejoices in what he planted in you. And yet, due to pains and sufferings that we've had, whether it's our, from our parents growing up or kids on the playground or a spouse or like the first guy that I married who drained my bank account, left me with $2.03 to my name, a $35,000 debt, left me homeless, we have a tendency of viewing God through the pain of those who have hurt us so very badly. But in all reality... That's not who he is. He actually loves us more than we could ever imagine. He adores us. He's for us. He knows our every thought. He knows our every move. And he also knows the thought and the moves of those you feel are against you or those that you feel are bringing trouble on you. He also knows your weaknesses and he knows your strengths. The weaknesses are there so that you will put on his strength, that you will seek him out so that you'll be strengthened by him. He knows also the weaknesses and the strengths of the enemy that's coming against you as well. He also knows every strategy that you have put together in your own head, and he knows the strategy of the enemy or your opponent or the strategy of the problem that you are facing right now. And he knows all the details and he knows of everything that you are facing. Call upon him. Choose him. He's the chief strategist. He's the CEO of all of the companies in which that I'm running. He is the head of our household. He is the love of my life. Make him the love of yours. Make today, make it today that you choose not to see him through the scope of those who've pained you, but that you choose to see him as the one who is for you. He is for you. He is for you. He is for you. He is not against you, but there is a real life enemy that is against you that God will use in a powerful way to strengthen you. But you first have to come to him in order for you to be strengthened with, with wise strategies that are going to work today. Because your strategies that worked five years ago, five months ago, or five days ago are not necessarily the strategies that need to work for today in this problem or this new enemy or a repeat of an enemy that you have been fighting against. Listen, I hope that today's message has helped you tremendously. I know that when I was reading 2 Samuel 5, 19 through 25, I got rocked and I got convicted and I had to ask the Lord to forgive me for all of the times that I made moves without consulting him. All the times where I made decisions without coming to him first. That instead, I pulled out an old tool from my tool shed that worked before the last time I had faced this problem, and it should work again this time. I asked him to forgive me. Lord, please forgive me for all the times I have failed to come to you first. All the times, Lord, that I've leaned on my own understanding. All the times where I so messed up by not coming to you, my king, my king who is for me, who knows everything there is to know about my situation, but instead I leaned on my own. I hope that that's what you're doing right now, that you're going to ask the Lord to forgive you, that you're going to walk in the acceptance that he has for you, and you're going to glean from his wisdom, his strength, and his strategy. Do that today. Do that today. Come before him through his son, Yeshua, which in English is Jesus. He's the Savior. He gave his life for you. He gave his life for you to cover you of all of your sins and also so that you can come to the Father. The Bible's clear. It says that no one comes to the Father except through me.
Jesus. So come to the Father in the name of Jesus, and he will lead you. He will guide you. He will strengthen you. We're going to be taking your call and prayer requests. I'm not talking about some wishy-washy, doubt-filled prayers. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm talking faith-filled prayers. The Bible says where two or more are gathered and agree on anything, God will do it. The Bible also says where two or more are gathered in my name, in the name of Yeshua, Jesus, then he is there. So you and I are going to come together and agree on a solution for whatever it is that you're facing today. So here is our phone number. Call in right now now, 844 200 D A N I. That's 3264. Again, that's 844 200 3264. If it goes to voicemail, that means our lines are all packed. And so just leave us your prayer request even right there, and we will get to that prayer request. Again, that's 844 200 3264. Call that number immediately for the second hour of the show. We're going to deal with problem by problem praying and giving advice in the direction to be able to help solve and bring you to that place that you're looking for, that solution, that help. So whether you're feeling lonely or heavy, you feel like you've been forsaken, you feel like you're out there left alone with whatever that problem is, health, family, job, or money, whichever area it is, call me now, 844-200-3264. And again, if it goes to voicemail, just leave us a message, leave the prayer request on that. Or if you have a comment about today's uh, teaching, I'd love to hear from you also. And if even God has taught you something else about it, or you caught a bigger or better revelation or a different revelation than what I taught today, we would love to hear your comment, 844-200-3264. If this has helped you, Please tell me how it has helped you. Call the number 844-200-3264. And you can just leave us a message. If you don't want to talk to me live here on the show, that's totally fine. You can just clearly leave a message instead. 844-200-3264. Again, that's 844-200-D-A-N-I. All right. So. When we continue back to the Danny Johnson Show, I'm going to be taking your call. I can see on my screen right now we've got six lines on hold this very minute. So we're going to start that second hour with powerful prayer, filled with faith, not with doubt, not with worry, none of that stuff. And uh, together we're going to get the job done of slugging on heaven's doors. (laughs) And we know that God is going to hear us. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more right after this. Hey, have you done a favor for your best friend yet? Then do it now. Share this program with them. The Danny Johnson Show, helping hundreds of thousands of people just like you make life more enjoyable and rewarding. The Danny Johnson Show. Danny Johnson here, and you're listening to The Danny Johnson Show with tens of thousands of people just like you. People thinking about what you think about, talking about what you talk about, and needing the same products and services you need. It's a place where like-minded consumers gather, savvy business owners, marketing directors, and responsive individuals making significant buying decisions. From consumer home goods and services to -to business-to-business products, people just like you needing the same things you need. They shouldn't be buying your product and service or doing business with your company. I'd love to help. To find out how to advertise on this show, email info at intellirep.com. That's I-N-F-O at I-N-T-E-L-E-R-E-P dot com. Or call 251-928-9400. That's info at intellirep.com or 251-928-9400. You tell yourself that life isn't that bad. You relish the small pleasures. drive through coffee, big screen TV, vacations bought on credit cards. But that's as good as life gets unless you take a leap of faith. This is millionaire author, radio and television show host, Danny Johnson, inviting you to join me for two days where you will acquire the skills to make the life you crave a reality. Call now, 844-200-DANI or visit firststepstosuccess.com. 
Join us for a revolution in increasing your income, improving relationships. You can make your marriage better. You can make your finances better. You can make your job better. You can make all of your relationships better by what you choose to focus on. Expand your life experiences with God with a very spiritual equipping show from Danny Johnson. Think on these things, that which is noble, good, pure, praiseworthy. Here and now, The Danny Johnson Show. So oftentimes in life, we can find ourselves in a place where we do not want to be. Have you ever been there? (laughs) This is Danny Johnson. Welcome to the spiritual equipping day of the week where we spiritually equip you to succeed in the marketplace. We want to see you succeed financially in your career. We want to see your business grow like crazy. Why? Because we know what the Bible says. The Bible says that we are to be a light on a hill for all the world to see, that they will praise the Father in heaven for the good works they see you do. If you've got your business or your job under a bushel, no one can see the good works in which you are doing. So God desires to put you up in a place where you'll be a light on a hill and people will see that God is working through you. We want to see you succeed in your relationship with your spouse, with your kids. And if you don't got a spouse, let's get you one. Right? Why not? Anyway, uh, in this second hour of the Danny Johnson Show, we're going to be handling prayer requests powerfully, not with worry, not with doubt, not with fear, not with, I hope it works. Uh Uh-uh. That kind of prayer don't get nothing done. Bottom line, friend, if you're not all in in what you're asking God for, then he ain't all in in giving it to you. So let's go all in on your prayer request right now. The number is 844-232-64. 844-232-64. That's D-A-N-I. If it goes to voicemail, leave us your prayer request right there or a comment. We want to listen to what you got to say. Okay, I've got line six, actually, Cynthia from Orlando, Florida. Welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I've i been listening in, and even the last couple of days going back and listening to some tapes about, um, you know, recordings that I have of the, the teaching about how to handle um, when attacks are coming against you, not eating the crap, you know, and like, you know, fighting against um, uh, the attacks of the enemy and not giving it a place to yeah. set in. That has been so helpful to me. Good. Thank you so much. Good, yeah. good, good, good. You know what, Cynthia? I used to be the one that would just sit and cry like a baby. <laughs> and when I found, for example, in Ephesians 6, you know how in Ephesians 6 where it talks about uh, putting on the full armor of God, right? And I realized like, oh, wait a minute. Like we're supposed to do that every day. And in the Bible tells us we're, we're heading into a battle every day. And here I was not, I didn't have the mindset that I was heading into a battle every day. I come back bloody every day going, what happened? <laughs> uh, <duh. Yep. laughs> you know what I mean? No, no soldier, uh, you know, goes into battle without his gear. Every soldier goes into battle with his gear, his helmet of salvation, right? His sword, his, his shield, his belt of truth, his shoes. You know, you, you're fully equipped. If we think about our, our soldiers that, you know, are overseas fighting a battle, whether we agree with the battle or not is another story. But they're, they're not just, you know, they're not in their gym shorts and their wife beater. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But that's how I treated life. I treated life like, you know, I got my gym shorts and my wife beater on. That's a white tank top for those who don't know what a wife beater is. Why do they call it that? Anyway, it's a terrible name. Anyway, Cynthia, what can I do to pray for you today? What's your prayer request? Thank you so much. Um, there's this project that I've been working on with um, some team members. And in the very beginning, I felt so completely, like, full of faith and just, you know, I yes. couldn't imagine it not working. And yep. um, the last few days, you know, I was speaking with someone about it, and they said, well, what if it doesn't work? Cynthia, put that positive thinking aside. Let's be realistic. What if it doesn't work? And ever since then, I've just been kind of like think, like 
What you know, if it I doesn't mean, work, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Cynthia, yeah. you, girlfriend, are ministering to me right now. <laughs> I'm serious. I know exactly. Wow. No, no, I'm serious because I have found myself in the same stinking place from time to time in my life. You know, venturing out on this new project that you're passionate about and, and you want it to work, and yet you're hitting opposition, right? And now the opposer has come to you and said, let's be realistic. You know, let, you know what if it doesn't work? Okay, listen to me, girlfriend. Listen to me. I want you to look in your life right now. Have you ever ventured out to try something before that's new? Ventured out to work on a new project that you're passionate about before? Yeah. Okay. So I want you to just think of one of those times. Was there an opposing voice that came and asked you the same question? <laughs> yeah. Go back to another one. Go back to another one. I'm sure you can line up 10 things, 10 projects that you've done where you have like ventured out on, you're passionate about it, you're excited about it. And then here it's the same exact strategy. Just like with King David, King David fought against the same enemy, the Philistines again and again and again. But what the Lord did is what, what David is, he inquired of the Lord. Do I go this way or do I go that way? Okay. So what you have to know is your enemy, your Philistine in this way is the voice of doubt, the voice of reason. That's your Philistine, honey. And you need to stand strong in faith and say, I don't care how long it takes. I don't care how long it takes. God showed this to me. I'm going to stand strong and believe him for the victory. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for Cynthia. I thank you, Lord, that her very question ministers to me. <laughs> and that, Lord, um, that any time we venture out to do something that's going to impact people's lives, that's going to make a difference, anything even that you tell us to do, God, we see that there's always going to be opposition for our mission. Otherwise, it is not a mission. It's not a mission if there's no opposition. Yeah. Father, thank you so much for today. Thank you for exposing the lie of the enemy and exposing the opposition, the oppressor who wants to cause us to doubt, who wants to cause us to worry. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up my sister Cynthia before you right now. And, Cynthia, I want you to say this. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, please forgive me. Please forgive me. For all the times I have doubted. For all the times I have doubted. That I've chosen to put my faith. That I've cho chosen to put my faith. Into doubt. Into doubt. Instead of into you. Instead of into you. You continuously show me your love and grace. You continuously show me your love and grace. And you've given me this project that I'm passionate about. And you've given me this project that I'm passionate about. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. For my lack of faith. For my lack of faith. I receive that forgiveness right now. <laughs> I receive that forgiveness right now. So in the name of Jesus... In the name of Jesus. I come against. I come again. The enemy of doubt, worry, and unbelief. The enemy of doubt, worry, and unbelief. I come against the voice. I come against the voice of let's be realistic. Of let's be realistic. Because God, you are not a realistic God. <laughs> Because, God, you are not a realistic God. You parted the Red Sea. That was not realistic. <laughs> you parted the Red Sea. That was not realistic. You fed the children of Israel with manna falling from the sky. That was not realistic. You fed the children of Israel with manna falling from the sky. For 40 years. 40 years you did that. <laughs> For 40 years you did that. That was not realistic. That was not realistic. <laughs> you parted the River Jordan. You parted the River Jordan. You healed blind eyes. You healed blind eyes. Raised the dead. 
be raised to the dead. You are not a realistic God. You are not a realistic God. Forgive me for making you small. Forgive me for making you small. I choose today to believe that you... I choose today to believe that you... Are in control of my life. Are in control of my life. And I choose to walk by faith. And I choose to walk by faith. And not by doubt. And not by doubt. Yeah. So in Jesus' name... So in Jesus' name... I rebuke you doubt, worry, and unbelief. I rebuke you doubt, worry, and unbelief. And I no longer need you in my life or in this project. And I no longer need you in my life or in this project. These are your walking papers. (laughs) These are your walking papers. Go back to hell where you belong in Jesus' name. (laughs) Go back to hell where you belong in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen, 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 amen. Oh, gosh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Okay, I've got line three, Hallie from Virginia. Welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. Hello, Hallie. Are you there? I think Hallie has her line muted or something. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go. Hallie, work out your phone there. Uh, We've got Rachel from Texas. Rachel, welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. Thank you. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. What's your request? So I need prayers for breakthrough. I'm going to try to do this without crying. Um, But it's been a rough two years. Um, My husband and I have been separated. Mm. And I have two little kids. And I would say that he's not a healthy participant in the relationship. Um, I think there's mental unhealth and a resistance to getting help. And so it's just kind of come to this point where it seems like things need to end um, because it's just been so toxic. Right. Um, And I just feel stuck. I feel um, stuck in the grief of the situation. I need to break through so I can really focus on parenting, on being my best at work, mm-hmm. on creating my own wealth because um, my husband's work has really fallen off due to just everything. And Okay. Um, Rachel, I- we have to cut real quick here to a break. As soon as we continue back, we're going to go ahead and pray through these issues. That's a tough situation to be in um, if, in fact, your husband has mental uh, illness issues. Uh, it's very de- Marriage can be the most challenging thing on the face of the planet. So when we continue, we're going to pray and look for God for solutions. We'll continue right after this. At any time, life can throw a problem your way. All the time, you can look to God for the spiritual solution. Learn how here on The Danny Johnson Show. Okay, if you know me at all, I don't want you spending a penny more than you have to on anything. This is one of those things. If you're a business owner and take credit cards, you're paying too much unless you're working with my friend Kevin at Prestige Merchant Solutions. He's so confident that if he can't save you money, he'll pay you $100. Listen, if you're accepting payment by credit cards, check it out. 850-200-0709. That's 850-200-0709. Kevin guarantees five-star service. He guarantees he'll save you money and he'll pay you $100 if he can't. No risk, right? So what are you waiting for? Call today. It's quick to change your current service, incredibly reliable, 24-7 support, and payments are processed quickly. Tell him Danny sent you. There's nothing to lose. Call 850-200-0709. 850-200-0709. Stop overpaying today. Radio talk show host Danny Johnson in Kadwa, Haiti. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson and I'm here with Fida in her tiny little home. This home is the size of many people's closets in the United States of America. Now we're sitting on a bed, just a piece of sheet or plastic that these beautiful babies sleep on. They have nothing. This family has nothing. No water, no food, nothing. 
won't you do something? The Bible says that if you ignore the cry of the poor, then you too will cry and be ignored. They're not asking for nice clothes. They're asking for food. That's it, food, water. You can help. We wanna build her a home. We wanna bring water, clean, fresh water here, but we can't do it alone. We need you. Help us radically change a community. Go to kingsransom.org to make your donation to Kadwa Haiti. That's kingsransom.org. With all the changes happening in healthcare, Christians want to know, is there any option that's God-honoring, affordable, and acceptable under the law? The answer is MediShare. It's not insurance. It's a nationwide community of believers who share each other's medical bills. Unlike individual insurance plans, which are now required to cover the morning after pill, your healthcare dollars never pay for things that go against your beliefs. There's no enrollment period, so you can sign up anytime. You choose your doctors from America's largest provider network. And yes, it's affordable. Family options average around $300 a month. MediShare is healthcare Christians can believe in. Learn how thousands of Christians can help you save on your health care. For your free information guide, call 855-90-BIBLE. Not available in Montana. MediShare, affordable biblical health care. Call 855-90-BIBLE. That's 855-90-BIBLE. Is God calling you to the entertainment industry? Do you want to rise for Him? Do you want to be an actor, model, singer, or dancer and shine for God? Do you think the world needs better role models? Do you want to be a star for the Most High God? Actors, models, and talent for Christ is coming to a city near you. A new generation of Christian performers is rising. Call 800-STAR-420 or go to amtcaudition.com. God gave you talent for a reason, and that is to shine for Him. So we are searching for actors, models, singers, and dancers. Go to amtcaudition.com to find out when and where the next free audition will be held. Entertainment is the best opportunity for Christians to change the world, and the time is now. Are you ready for that call? 800-STAR-420 or go to amtcaudition.com. That's actors, models, and talent for Christ. Register for your audition today. Danny Johnson here, and you're listening to The Danny Johnson Show with tens of thousands of people just like you. People thinking about what you think about, talking about what you talk about, and needing the same products and services you need. It's a place where like-minded consumers gather, savvy business owners, marketing directors, and responsive individuals making significant buying decisions. From consumer home goods and services to -to business-to-business products, people just like you needing the same things you need. They shouldn't be buying your product and service or doing business with your company. I'd love to help. To find out how to advertise on this show, email info at IntelliRep.com. That's I-N-F-O at I-N-T-E-L-E-R-E-P.com. Or call 251-928-9400. That's info at IntelliRep.com or 251-928-9400. Now, back to Danny Johnson and more solutions she's discovered from the Word of God. This is Danny Johnson with the Danny Johnson Show, Spiritual Equipping, the second hour of the Spiritual Equipping broadcast. We are focusing on taking your prayer request. 844-200-3264 is that number. That's 844-200-DANNY, D-A-N-I. Right now, we've got Rachel on the line from Texas, and uh, Rachel is separated from her husband. She's got two children. It's been a toxic relationship, as she just shared right before we cut over to this break. Uh, Rachel, are you there? I am. Cool. Okay, then let's pray. So, Father God, I thank you so much for Rachel. I thank you, Lord, that you know her husband. You know his mind. You know his heart. Lord, you also know Rachel's mind and heart. God, you know every cross word that has been shared between the two of them. Lord, you know the pain and the suffering that has happened in both of them. God, you know their past. You know every single thing that has happened in her husband's past. You know every single thing that has happened in Rachel's past. God Almighty, you also know what the children have endured. You know, Lord, the past, present, and future. 
Father Rachel is seeking your advice, not the advice of a woman, not the advice of a human, but Lord God Almighty, she is seeking your direction. Rachel, I want you to say this after me. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I know that divorce. I know that divorce. Is not your perfect will. Is not your perfect will. And I want to follow you. And I want to follow you. I want to do what you would have me do. I want to do what you would have me do. I want your will for my life. I want your will for my life. Not my will. Not my will. God, I feel hopeless in this marriage. I feel, God, I feel hopeless in this marriage. I feel like there's only one way to go. I feel like there's only one way to go. And that is to end it. And that is to end it. Lord, I need your help. Lord, I need your help. I don't want to make a bad decision here. I don't want to make a bad decision here. That could cause great suffering for my children. That could cause great suffering for my children. And my grandchildren. And my grandchildren. For the rest of our lives. The rest of our lives. But I also don't want to live in this toxic relationship. I can't hear you. I also don't want to live in this toxic relationship. I also don't want to live in this toxic relationship. So God, please direct me, and I promise I will obey you. God, please direct me, and I promise I will obey you. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Rachel, you continue to seek out the Lord. Listen, I want to I want to direct you over to our website because this is so important, honey. I know you know. Did you come from a divorced family? Pardon, there's a Danny Johnson commercial going on. Hear you? Really? There's something playing over the call. Really? There's something playing. That's yeah. interesting. <laughs> Okay, sorry for that technical, thank you, all right, you hear better, sorry for that technical difficulty, I don't know what's going on there, I didn't hear that, but now you, you can hear, okay, good, Um, that's wild, Um, anyway, uh, do you come from a divorced family? I do not, my parents are still married, they're going on their 40. 6th or 47th wedding anniversary. Wow, girlfriend. That's outrageous and awesome. Um, yeah, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. So you don't know the suffering that a child goes through whenever there is a divorce. And, and But I know, I understand you want to protect your children from a toxic marriage as well. The, on our website, if you go to dannyjohnson.com, you're going to find, you'll find in our archives, um, in the Insider, actually, you'll find a teaching, a spiritual equipping teaching that is how how to hear God's voice, how to make sure you're hearing God's voice. Because if we are not hearing his voice, then we're hearing the voice of our flesh or we're hearing the voice of the enemy. And in this case, it could be the voice of hopelessness. It also could be the voice of pride. And either way, you don't want to respond to that voice. Okay. You don't want to live your life according to that voice. So go to dannyjohnson.com. That's D-A-N-I johnson.com. It's in the inside on the radio shows, on the spiritual equipping radio shows, and and it'll be there as a teaching, hearing God's voice. Just maybe even type that into the search. It is a powerful teaching to to learn to discern God's voice, your voice, or the enemy's voice, because it's really important with making big decisions that you understand how to do that. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more of the Danny Johnson Show right after this. What you see is what you get. What you hear is real. This is not a test. It's real life and how to deal with what comes at you every day. Yeah. This is the Danny Johnson Show. Radio talk show host Danny Johnson in Kadwa, Haiti. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson and I'm here with Fida in her tiny little home. This home is the size of many people's closets in the United States of America. Now we're sitting on a bed, just a piece of sheet or plastic that these beautiful babies sleep on. They have nothing. This family has nothing. No water, no food, nothing. Won't you do something? The Bible says that if you ignore the cry of the poor, then you too will cry and be ignored. They're not asking for nice clothes. 
asking for food. That's it, food, water, you can help. We wanna build her a home. We wanna bring water, clean, fresh water here, but we can't do it alone, we need you. Help us radically change a community. Go to kingsransom.org to make your donation to Kadwa Haiti. That's kingsransom.org. Ever wondered how to advertise on The Danny Johnson Show with tens of thousands of people just like you listening, thinking about the things you do, talking about the things you do, and needing products and services you need? Savvy business owners and marketing directors advertise on The Danny Johnson Show. Advertise your products or services on The Danny Johnson Show. Email info at intellirep.com or call 251-928-9400. 251-928-9400. Helping you get a grip on your priorities and your focus. The Danny Johnson Show. Here's Danny Johnson. This is Danny Johnson. Thanks so much for joining us for the Spiritual Equipping Broadcast. Here in Hour 2, we're doing nothing but praying with you and for you. You might be struggling through a massive, massive hard time right now. Well, today, you and I are going to go and slug on heaven's doors and say, God, we need help. And we're going to do it with faith. Not with that wimpy, wishy-washy doubt and worry, but we're going to choose to believe that he hears from heaven and he will come to our need. That's what the Bible says. And I believe everything that it says. So online too, I've got Stephanie from Pennsylvania. Stephanie, welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. How can we pray for you today? Hi, Danny. Thanks for taking my call. Um, my prayer, I guess it's it's for me and my husband. Um, we've been together for 12 years, married for almost 10. Um, we have two little kids. And um, shortly after we got married, he I, I thought he was a Christian. He grew up a pastor's kid. So... Um, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> a pastor's kid don't mean squat. <laughs> it means they were force-fed the Word of God. <laughs> but that's yeah. it. Well, that, that's exactly it. Yeah. Um, and so shortly after we married, um, I found out that he did not, not only was he not walking with the Lord, but he actually proclaims himself as an atheist. Um, oh. And so we have, we've been through a lot of trials. <laughs> been to counseling, um, you know, I'm doing my best to, to raise our kids to know the Lord. But um, we've recently gone through a, about a year-long struggle with our finances where his job was not providing. And I just saw for the first time since we had been together, he had been really becoming vulnerable and breaking down. And mm-hmm. I just was praying that God was using this, um, you know, to, to show him, like, hey, this is not all about you, buddy. Mm-hmm. Um and and I saw that happening, and then right as we were getting to the point where we would not have been able to pay our bills, mm-hmm. God blessed us with an amazing new job for Him that is providing more than we could have ever imagined. Praise and God. so I'm I'm seeing God's work in that. Yep. And so now I'm struggling with, okay, God, <laughs> what are you going to use to get His attention? Yep. Okay. Well, Stephanie, first of all, I, I gotta, I have to like, uh, tell you a couple of things. <laughs> ah, boy, have I been in similar shoes as you are walking in right now. Okay. Um, number one, just today, <laughs> just today, the Lord brought me to first Peter three, five all the way through the end of the uh, three one all the way just go read first peter three period just go read the whole thing and what the lord spoke to me today through his success book was that we wives need to submit to our husbands even those that are not believers that in our example of respect and honor to them that that would bring them to Christ. Yes. Yeah. That our conduct would be so honorable and respectful that, and it also said about being quiet in nature and girlfriend, you know, I ain't quiet in nature, (laughs) (laughs) but the Lord really showed me what that meant today. And it meant was that when I really don't agree with Hans, when I really am against whatever it is that he wants to do or whatever, because we do have that 
you know, those collisions that happen, especially in business, different, difference of opinions were made completely different. That, for example, I love schedules. He hates them. Awesome. This is a collision. Sometimes <laughs> yeah. it's been a war. Um, but the Lord really ministered to me today. And what he ministered to me day, today with was, wow, that my nature, as far as being quiet in nature, it's will I honor him and respect him when I disagree with him? Wow. I have failed there many times. I'm sorry to say. Yeah. I have failed there so many times. <laughs> So will I honor and respect even when I don't agree? And even in sharing my disagreeing position, my disagreeing perspective, can I do that in honor and respect? That's what I'm working on. That's what I'm working on. So yeah. because your husband has professed to be an atheist, Oh, Stephanie, God's going to use you mightily with your husband. You see, the word of God will not return void. Stephanie, don't you dare worry about your husband's salvation. Don't you dare. His parents put the word of God in him his entire life. He is hurting, which is why he's turned his back on God. He is hurting. His heart is hardened. And God will turn that around. He has people praying for him all over the place, girlfriend. Not just you. Are you serious? His parents are praying for him. His siblings are praying for him. His aunts and uncles are praying for him. The congregation is praying for him. God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth is praying for him. Hello? <laughs> I know. You know what I'm saying? This is such a done deal, and he is going to be such a powerful testimony, and you're going to be a part of that testimony because you will be that wife, 1 Peter 3. You'll be that 1 Peter 3 wife that honors and respects regardless if his faith is yours. And that's what's going to bring him to Christ. One of the things that God will use. The other thing is, there's nothing more demeaning for a man than the wife complaining about finances. He feels like a failure whenever a wife can, it feels that we don't have the money. It's not enough. What you're doing to provide for us is not enough. That literally is like castrating a man. It emasculates the man. It really does. So you want to guard your mouth and don't find yourself in that place of saying we can't afford it. That's agreeing with the spirit of poverty. That's completely agreeing with poverty. You want to respond in faith, show your faith, live out that faith, and he will see the work of God through your faith. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for Stephanie. Oh Lord, thank you for bringing her on today's show. Thank you, Lord God, for her humility and the confession from her mouth of her struggles. And Lord, we know that you know all things. You know her husband and you love her husband more than she ever could. You believe in her husband more than she ever could. Yeah. And you've put much into her husband. And Father Stephanie and I are standing in faith and believing and knowing, God, that you are going to bring her husband back to you. And this relationship that they will have will flourish and be strong in you, Lord, and strong in your word. Father, I also pray for my sister, God, and for me. Please help us and any wife that is listening that finds themselves not to be a quiet one. But the Lord, help us to honor our husbands, even in the midst of a disagreement, even in the midst of opposing views that could be as opposite as north and south. Lord, help us, teach us, guide us, give us that heart of submission. Give us that heart of respect and honor. Give, let us walk by your spirit of Christ each and every day. Let us clothe ourselves with love. And as we clothe ourselves with love, Lord God, that love penetrates because your word says, love never fails. So I thank you in advance, God, for changing me and Stephanie and the rest of us women who suck at this. Yeah. I thank you for that. And I thank you, Lord, that you are slowly but surely in your perfect time penetrating the heart of this hardened hearted man. Yes, in Jesus name. Amen. Thank amen. you so much, Stephanie. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Okay, we've got Minerva on line one. Wow, what an awesome call Stephanie was. Okay, Minerva, welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. Hi, Danny. What can we do for Pray For You, girl? Yes, yes, Danny. Uh, well, I've messed up a lot. I've made so many mistakes in my past. And I have failed my kids. And a couple of years ago, um, I came across a storm. I was a victim of, uh, of, har- of a harassment crime. Mm-hmm. And um, that really shook my ground. And, it, it, and, and I have to say I'm thankful to God because it really, really connected me to him. And but I have I find myself so scatterbrained. I cannot focus. I cannot um completely overcome that. And I've been one year, you know, without working my passionate job that I love so much. Mm. And um I want to you know I, I want to I, I don't want to be so scatterbrained. I can't I can I get myself focused and I want to be a better mother, uh, yes. better uh, wife. Um, I just I'm so you know I want to. I don't want to feel so unglued. Yes, yes, yes. Minerva, girl, I've been there. Oi, oi, oi. Been there. Even as recent, I've <laughs> been there of like, I'm crying out to the Lord. Lord, I want to be a better mother. I want to be a better wife. I want to be better for you. When we continue after this short break, we're going to pray for that specifically. Lots of people have that prayer request. We'll continue with more right after this. It's about the journey. Are you living the life you want to live? Is it going the way you want it to go? Don't live your life by default. Live by going the way you want to go. Danny can help you with your roadmap to life. The Danny Johnson Show. Radio talk show host Danny Johnson in Kadwa, Haiti. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson, and I'm here with Vida in her tiny little home. This home is the size of many people's closets in the United States of America. Now we're sitting on a bed, just a piece of sheets or plastic that these beautiful babies sleep on. They have nothing. This family has nothing. No water, no food, nothing. Won't you do something? The Bible says that if you ignore the cry of the poor, then you too will cry and be ignored. They're not asking for nice clothes. They're asking for food. That's it. Food, water. You can help. We want to build her a home. We want to bring water, clean, fresh water here. But we can't do it alone. We need you. Help us radically change a community. Go to kingsransom.org to make your donation to Kadwa Haiti. That's kingsransom.org. If you're a Christian who's paying too much for health care, you're going to love MediShare. It's a nationwide community of believers who share each other's medical bills. It's affordable. Families average around $300 a month, and it's accepted by America's largest network of health providers. Plus, the health care law has a special provision for MediShare members, so you're exempt from any tax penalties. But here's the best part. MediShare is based on the timeless principles found in God's Word. You never have to pay for things that go against your beliefs. MediShare is healthcare the way God meant it to be. Learn how thousands of Christians can help you save on your health care. For your free information guide, call 855-90-BIBLE. Not available in Montana. MediShare, affordable biblical health care. Call 855-90-BIBLE. That's 855-90-BIBLE. We're back. Here's Danny Johnson. Do you want to be a better mom? Do you want to be a better wife, father, or husband? Do you desire to stand strong and to just all the way around not mess up as much as you have in the past? Friend, that's the cry of my heart every day. I want to mess up less, and I want to be a better wife, be a better parent. I want to be a better business person. I want to be a better leader. I want to. I just want to improve. I don't want to be the same, and certainly I don't want to die the same person that I am today. Right now, we're taking prayer requests. Minerva is on the line from Texas, and that basically was her confession. She wants to grow and improve in all of those areas. So, Minerva, let's go before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the one that knows you, that loves you, that adores you, that when he looks upon you, you take his breath away. 
He is for you. He is not against you. And as long as you have confessed your sins before him, he holds nothing, nothing against you. Nothing. All he sees when he sees you is the glory of his son, Yeshua, which is Jesus in English. So let's go before him. Heavenly Father, I bring Minerva before your throne of mercy and grace. And God, I thank you for your love. I thank you for the humility that you have planted inside of Minerva's heart. I thank you, Father God, that she's called in today to say, this is what I need. I don't want to mess up anymore. I don't want to continue to be scattered brain. I don't want to be unemployed anymore. I, I want to get better as a mom and a wife. Lord, you know the cry of her heart. You know the tears that she has shed. So, Father, we also know that you are our rescuer. You are our redeemer. You are our God. And, Lord, you are the one that holds the keys to every solution of every problem that we've ever put ourselves in. Minerva, Minerva I want you to pray this after me. Say, Father. Father, I'm your daughter. I'm your daughter. And I feel lost. And I feel lost. I feel confused. I feel confused. I feel unworthy. I feel unworthy. To even ask you for help. To even ask you for help. If I was God. If I was God. I wouldn't help me. I wouldn't help me. But thank God I'm not God. But thank God I'm not God. You are one. You are one. Who hears me. me. And you still love me. And you still love me. No matter how many times I've messed up. No matter how many times I've messed up. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. For not seeking you more. For not seeking you more. Forgive me for beating myself up. Forgive me for beating myself up. Forgive me for my doubt. Forgive me for my doubt. I know that you are almighty God. I know that you are almighty God. And there's nothing impossible for you. And there's nothing impossible for you. And you love me as your daughter. And you love me as your daughter. And you smile upon me. And you smile upon me. And you desire to bless me. And you desire to bless me. So I receive your forgiveness right now. So I receive your forgiveness right now. And I choose to love myself. And I choose to love myself. To talk to myself. To talk to myself. With encouraging words. With encouraging words. Instead of condemnation. Instead of condemnation. For those in Christ. For those in Christ. There is no condemnation. There, there is no condemnation. I am in Christ. I am in Christ. Therefore, there is no condemnation for me. Therefore, there is no condemnation for me. Yes. But there is life and blessing for me. There is love and blessing for me. Even in the midst of trials. Even in the midst of trials. Yes. So, God, I love you. God, I love you. And I need your help today. And I need your help today. Please provide a job. Please provide a job. Help me to be a better wife. Help me to be a better wife. Help me to be a better mother. Help me to be a better mother. Teach me your ways. Teach me your way. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Minerva. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I believe in you. There is no condemnation for those in Christ. And what hit my spirit is that you are continuously allowing the condemner to talk to you. So right now, in the name of Jesus, I come against that condemning and critical spirit that has spoken and even tormented my sister Minerva. I come against that spirit right now in the name of Jesus, and I rebuke you. I rebuke you. You are no longer welcome, nor needed, nor wanted. So go back to hell where you belong. 
belong. And I, I, I breathe life, life, the life of God, the breath of God, the blessing of God over Minerva. And Father, I thank you already in advance for the job that's already on its way. I thank you for the improved marriage. I thank you for the skill sets that she's going to learn to get better paying jobs, skill sets to be a better wife, and skill sets to be a better mother. In Jesus' name, amen. <sighs> there we go. Wow. This has been such a good time talking with you. It really has. I've thoroughly enjoyed these last two hours being able to work with you in this way. I love, I love that we get to do what we do. Hey, listen, I know that there's several prayer requests that I was not able to get to. Uh, please call this phone number, 844-200-3264. That's D-A-N-I. Again, that's 844-200-3264. Leave us a voicemail message, and we will be able to get to your prayer request that way because we are right now at the very end of this two-hour Danny Johnson show where we focus on the spiritual equipping aspect of our lives. We want to see you spiritually strong in the marketplace, spiritually strong at home, spiritually strong with your physical body so that you continue to be a light on a hill for all the world to see and that they, the people around you, will praise God for the good work they see you do. Do you hear me? Hey, speaking of good works, you know about Kadwa Haiti? Kadwa Haiti has a village that was destroyed by an earthquake. You can help today. We are building 60 new homes, two water supplies, and a sugar plant, but we can't do it without your help. We are going to restore an entire village of people who've been suffering and starving and have been dying because of nasty water that is killing their poor little babies. Kadwa Haiti, if you go to kingsransom.org, again, that's kingsransom.org, check out this project. And maybe you and I and your family and my family could all go into Haiti together to help build these homes. But right now you can do whatever you can. $10, $5, a dollar, a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars. Do what you can to be able to help build a homeless person, a brand new home. Not just a person, but a homeless family. That's a mom. That's a dad. That's a grandma. And that's children who have no home. They're living under bushes, living under branches right now. But you and I can bring that beautiful home right to them right now. Kingsransom.org, Kadwa, Haiti. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have an awesome rest of the day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. We want to thank you for listening to The Danny Johnson Show. We hope you found inspiration, answers, and hope to renew your happiness in life and learn how to make the most of today and tomorrow. Join us again on the next Danny Johnson Show. Okay, if you know me at all, I don't want you spending a penny more than you have to on anything. This is one of those things. If you're a business owner and take credit cards, you're paying too much unless you're working with my friend Kevin at Prestige Merchant Solutions. He's so confident that if he can't save you money, he'll pay you $100. Listen, if you're accepting payment by credit cards, check it out. 850-200-0709. That's 850-200-0709. Kevin guarantees five-star service. He guarantees he'll save you money and he'll pay you $100 if he can't. No risk, right? So what are you waiting for? Call today. It's quick to change your current service, incredibly reliable, 24-7 support, and payments are processed quickly. Tell him Danny sent you. There's nothing to lose. Call 850-200-0709. 850-200-0709. Stop overpaying today. You tell yourself that life isn't that bad. You relish the small pleasures. drive through coffee, big screen TV, vacations bought on credit cards. But that's as good as life gets unless you take a leap of faith. This is millionaire author, radio and television show host, Danny Johnson, inviting you to join me for two days where you will acquire the skills to make the life you crave a reality. Call now, 844-200-DANI or visit firsttepstosuccess.com.